So first, Microsoft announced that they were ending support for Windows 10 as of October 14th, 2025. But they didn't very clearly tell people what support meant. And then they said, well, if you want to upgrade to Windows 11, we can absolutely let you do that. But then you had to meet a certain set of hardware requirements. But then they said, oh, if you want to continue to support with Windows 10, you can pay us $30 a year per machine. And now they're saying, well, if you want to keep Windows 10 support, instead of paying us $30, you can do it for free. But there's a catch. That's what we're going to talk about today. And you know, for a lot of you, it puts you in a really weird predicament because you don't mind keeping Windows 10. You like Windows 10, but maybe you don't want to upgrade to Windows 11. Maybe you don't have it in the budget to buy a new machine with Windows 11. So where does that leave you? Well, thankfully, Microsoft does give you an easy out at least for another year. Hello again, everyone. My name is Scott Merrill. I've been in IT for nearly 35 years, and what I do on this channel is Windows tips, tricks, reviews, troubleshooting, and more. So if that's the kind of thing you're into, make sure you check out my video library, because I guarantee there's something in there you're going to like. In addition to that, one of the things that I love doing for my viewers is recommending PCs for people who are looking to upgrade, but you really don't know where to start. There's a link in the description. If you click on that link, fill out a quick form, I will personally guide you to find the right machine for your budget. 100% free, I'm happy to do it. Now, let's figure out if we can get this machine supported for another year. Now, there's naturally gonna be a ton of questions that I know a lot of you are gonna ask. I encourage you to watch the entire video. I will answer as many of those questions as I can at the end of the video. So what I'm gonna do here on this test machine here is first demonstrate to you what to look for. So if you click on your start button and then go to settings, now, in this case, you can see I am using a local account. That is important for later because that's going to answer one of your questions. If you scroll down in the settings, go into update and security. It's so close to the end of support. By this time, most all of you will have this option right here. Windows 10 support ends in October 25. Enroll now. If you don't see it right there, you may see it over here on the right side. But for most of you, you'll probably see it right here in the middle. Now, right now... This is a Windows 10 Home Edition machine, and the support is going to end in about seven days. And all I have to do is click Enroll Now, and you can see here it's going to tell you support is going to end October 14th, and to get uh, the Get Extended Security Updates to keep your Windows 10 devices safer. Just click Next. Now, I do want to interject one thing here. If you have not previously logged into this machine under a Microsoft account, you may see this screen. And basically what this is, is it's giving you the option to back up your PC settings, to use Microsoft reward points, which is just for basic Bing searches and things like that. There's other things you can do uh, using the Microsoft services to earn points. You can only need a thousand of those or a one-time purchase of $30 plus tax. So if you see this option, just go ahead and select backup PC settings and continue on. In this case, I've already logged in with the Microsoft account, so it's already uh, got that backup set up, but you may see this and just be aware that that's all that is. Now, this is the first caveat here that I'm gonna answer for you right now. The trick is, is that Microsoft wants you to log in to a Microsoft account in lieu of that $30 a year. But again, that's another question that I'm gonna answer. So to get extended support, you have to use a Microsoft account, but that doesn't mean you have to continue using the Microsoft account. So if you have a Microsoft account already, in this at this point, this is where you would type that information in. If you don't have a Microsoft account, just go ahead and click create one. So as you can see here, I'm just gonna go ahead and type in my Microsoft account and click next. I'm gonna go ahead and enter my account information. It's gonna take a couple seconds and then you're gonna see this window right here. You are eligible to enroll in extended security updates at no extra cost. It says, as you've already backed up your Windows settings, you're eligible to enroll in this extended security updates at no cost. And you see here, it is valid until October 13th, 2026. And all you have to do is click enroll. And as you can see, it's gonna enroll until October 13th, 2026. In this case, I've already backed up settings using this Microsoft account, but I'm going to show you how to turn that off. Just go ahead and click done. A lot of you may be like, hang on a second. I don't want Microsoft having access to my files. I hate OneDrive. I don't want them knowing anything. No problem. I got you covered. Watch this. What you're going to do is go back to your Windows settings, go to your search box here in the Windows update and click and type backup and then click on backup and sync your settings. Now, at this point, you're gonna see this window. Now, if you are not automatically signed into OneDrive, 
you will get prompted here to sign into OneDrive. And what that does is it synchronizes your files from your computer to the Microsoft servers. A lot of people do that automatically when they have a Microsoft account on their computer. If you see sign into OneDrive, then that means it's not backing up your files to Microsoft. But if you scroll down here a little bit, this is what Microsoft wants to see. They wanna see your apps that you have installed and they wanna see your user preferences, okay? But the cool part is, is you don't have to let them see any of this. You can tell them, yes, get access to all this stuff, but then immediately turn it off. You can uncheck this box right here, which turns off all the syncing. You can uncheck this box if you want to say, I don't even want you knowing what apps I have. So you can see at this point, it literally says, back up nothing to Microsoft, okay? But check this out. If you go here and then click on your settings, if you go back here into Windows Update and scroll down a little bit, you look, your PC is enrolled to get extended security updates. Now, there's one more small catch to this because what happens is, is when you log in to that Microsoft account, even if you already had a local account, what it does is it changes that local account, which basically just means your stuff stays on your computer and it's not connected directly to Microsoft. It doesn't change the way you log in or anything like that. But what it does do is change that local account to a Microsoft account. Now, what I wanna do is go back to a local account and here's all you have to do. Go back to your start button, go to settings. Then you're gonna click on accounts and you'll see right here, this is now a Microsoft account where it was a local account before. But just go right here and click on stop signing into my Microsoft apps automatically. You click on that. Now you see it changed it to a local account. And you can always go back later and click sign in with a Microsoft account instead. But let me show you what happens when you go back to a local account and you go back to updates and security and scroll down to this list I'm still enrolled to get extended security updates. So what does that mean? That means that this Windows 10 machine, even though I'm on a local account, not a Microsoft account, has extended security updates until October 13th, 2026. That is literally all you have to do to keep Windows 10 for another year. So I'm sure you guys have some questions. Here's some of the ones that I have heard most commonly. Question number one is, do I need to stay connected to Microsoft in order to keep this machine updated? No, as you saw where I just demonstrated, I connected to Microsoft and then I switched back to a local account and everything was fine. I just told Microsoft, don't back up anything, even though that's part of the requirement. I'm not sure where Microsoft was going with that and why they made it so easy to just to say, nope, don't need it. But regardless, that's how you do it. Second question is, how is this ESU update physically affect this machine. Each machine can be upgraded individually for up to 10 users, I believe, per machine. So as long as you've got one, two, three users, no big deal. Once you enroll in the ESU on any specific Windows 10 machine that's eligible, it applies across all user profiles. So you don't have to upgrade per profile or re-enroll or anything like that. So another question is, is can I enroll on my specific machine or I'm not seeing these same settings? Well, Microsoft has said this is for consumer machines. So if you have a Windows 10 Home Edition or Windows 10 Pro Edition and you're just a regular consumer with a computer on your desk, you don't connect to a network or anything like that at an office, um, or you don't have an IT department that manages your system, you should be able to do this. The exception is, is for professional or corporate machines. You might log into a domain or an Azure server, or you have an IT department that manages and has corporate licenses for your computer. This is not going to work, but that's up to your IT department. And I promise you, you've probably already heard from them before you're watching this video. If you're a regular Joe or Jane sitting at the house with a regular computer that you bought at a store, you should be able to re-enroll in this process and get another year of Windows 10 support. Another question is, what do I do October 13th of 2026? Is Microsoft going to do this for the following year? Probably not. Uh, I think the reason they're doing this is because there was such an outrage of people who had a machine that was relatively new but still had Windows 10 and now they felt like Microsoft was forcing them to upgrade to Windows 11 and maybe they didn't want Windows 11. Maybe they actually like Windows 10 and they're like, okay, so I basically lose support. That's ridiculous. So Microsoft, I think, is giving you a one year uh, wiggle room from them and then at this point next year they probably will make it to the point where you just basically won't be able to get support 
at all for your Windows 10 system. And on the subject of support, what does that actually mean? Well, Microsoft, again, has not made it very clear what support means. So let me kind of give you the very basic version. Microsoft has pledged that they're not going to stop the Windows security updates, which is the security program that's built into Windows. So if you use your Windows security as your antivirus, you're going to continue to get those updates, no problem. And that's going to happen whether you update to the extended support or not. Microsoft has pledged that they're going to continue to let the antivirus updates flow. But that brings up a big question is, what's the definition of security? Well, Microsoft has two levels of security. They have the Windows security, which I just showed you, which is, think of that as your antivirus program, okay? That is going to continue to update regardless. But Windows also has security updates for its operating system. And what that does is allows your computer to be patched in case an exploit is found. That was the whole big stink about what happens after October 14th because I'm no longer going to be protected against hackers. Microsoft has pledged that they're going to continue to patch systems if they find security holes. In other words, you're going to get security updates, anything that's super critical that could cause you harm, but they're not going to give you new features or new uh, cumulative releases, big packages uh, that you might have seen in the past. But long and short is, as long as you do the enrollment, if there's an exploit found, Microsoft is going to patch you. It doesn't cost you any extra. If you use Windows Security for your antivirus, you're going to continue to get those updates, at least until October 13th of 2026, which, again, is going to give you guys an opportunity to reevaluate what you want to do. Maybe they might charge you $30 a year after next year, or they might just make it to the point where you can't use it without support at all and force people to upgrade to Windows 11, kind of like they were doing this time. But right now, all you have to do is a couple clicks and boom, you're updated and it buys you time. Another question is, do I have to do this before October 14th? Oh my gosh, it's a week away. What happened? No, you don't have to do it before October 14th. Whenever you enroll, it's going to protect you until October 13th. But between now and the time you actually enroll, you're going to be vulnerable after October 14th. So if you do it now, it's better to go ahead and get it out the way. And that way everything is nice and smooth and you don't miss a beat and your machine is never left unprotected. I would definitely recommend you do that now versus waiting until October 14th or October 15th because you're just leaving yourself vulnerable and that just doesn't make sense. Go ahead and do it now, get it out of the way. Whether you wanna upgrade the machine or not, go ahead and take that free extra security that Microsoft has given you. So again, if you wanna go through this and keep your Windows 10 machine, it's a very easy way to keep support. If you wanna go ahead and upgrade to a new computer, again, there's a link in the description, fill out that quick form, let me help you out, and you can get a brand new machine with Windows 11, which will have support for at least probably another four or five years without an issue, and you'll have a better, faster machine if that's the direction that you wanna go. Now, one thing I have heard, and I can't confirm yet, but I've heard that Microsoft might require you to log into your Microsoft account uh, at least once every 60 days. But if that's the case, just simply go back into your user settings, tell it to log in with a Microsoft account. You should be able to reactivate or re-enroll at that point, And then you can always go and switch back to a local account. I'm not 100% sure if that's true. It's something I've heard. I haven't confirmed it yet, but it might be something you want to be aware of in case you get an error message about logging back in to stay enrolled. That's all that means. Now, if you choose to use Windows 10, the one thing that I have always said is you need to be able to reinstall that operating system if something happens. Blue screens happen. Computers crash, ransomware happens. If you don't have the ability to reinstall Windows, you are literally going to be left holding the bag. Now, what's going to happen is, is eventually Microsoft is going to end support for Windows 10 regardless, and that means the Windows 10 installers are gonna be taken off the Microsoft website. Just like you can't go download your Windows 7 or your Windows 8 anymore, they take them off the website. So what I think everybody should do, regardless of whether you enroll in the extended support or not, is get a Windows installer that will allow you to continue to be able to troubleshoot and repair your own machine. And I made a great video showing you exactly how to do that. You should probably do it now before Microsoft takes Windows 10 off their website. So check out this video over here and it'll walk you through step-by-step step how to create a Windows installer with just a simple flash drive and a few minutes of your time. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you. We'll see you in the next one.